What's up, everybody? This is Jed Johnson from DieselCrew.com, and of course, you know, they call me Napalm. Now, just something real quick that I want to talk about. If you're planning on running a grip contest, I'd love to talk to you about getting it sanctioned through the Grip Sport International and having the events count towards our databases and our records. The process is very simple, and really all you have to do is email me or Facebook message me in advance of the competition. And then there's a $25 sanctioning fee that you can pay through PayPal. It works very easy, and we will enter the results for you. We've made it much easier in, uh, you know, right now in the last year or so. It's much easier now than it used to be. We used to ask the promoter to enter the data into the database. Um, used to have everything. We used to require a 30-day notification period prior to holding the competition. All that's waived now. We do that for you. That's part of why we... Um, we have a $25 charge. So it's it's really that simple, guys. I welcome you if you have any questions to let me know. Um, it, but there is a process that you have to go through. Just because you run a contest doesn't mean your results will be entered into the database. So uh, let's talk about that. Um, when you're planning your next grip contest, let me know. Um, naturally, the, the events have to be uh, done in a way that is parallel with with our rules so you can't allow the guy you know 20 attempts 20 different attempts to the platform you got to have a limit of four attempts um you know last man standing rules are fine uh rising bar is a must but you know there's certain rules that have to be followed and we can cover all that in that just a simple uh facebook or email conversation or i can even get on the phone with you uh, that's what I did with Jason Wood, and he has since run three sanctioned Grip Sport International contests, and he's got another one coming up in May, May, May or maybe June. Um, so that's really as simple as it is, guys. Any questions, please let me know. You can leave a comment here if you have any questions on that, and maybe I can address them at another time. But uh, there's this has come up a couple times with a couple individuals, one of them uh, multiple times, and the process is very simple. And that's the way that we got to stay consistent. We got to stay consistent with that, and that's that's what we're going to do. So, um, look forward to working with you. Any questions? Let me know. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. All the best in your training. Take care.